Well, it's official. We are finally getting phase three of Season of Discovery, and it's coming in 10 days. That's right, on April 4th, we will have phase three of Season of Discovery, allowing players to level all the way up to level 50, and we will also have a new 20-man raid, which is now confirmed to be Sunken Temple. This is a pretty pretty abrupt announcement to be honest it's pretty exciting but it's definitely coming pretty quickly i know there's a lot of people out there who have been kind of thinking that phase two was lingering a little bit too long and then there's other people out there who are playing the game competitively and doing things like speed runs who definitely were kind of getting into full swing so we're gonna see a rush of all of that this will be the last dark moon fair that you can get if you do want to be like racing to level 50 or if you just want to have Darkmoon Fair up for level 50. But the Sunken Temple raid is actually pretty exciting. It's definitely what was expected to be the raid for next phase. And there's going to be a lot of really, really cool items in this raid that are going to be leveled up in a nice and really amazing way. The Epic Sword Dragon's Call is probably going to be something way more unique than just like randomly summoning a dragon. It's probably going to be a lot stronger. Also, the class quest will definitely be revamped. Things like Diamond Flask probably won't be able to heal you to full anymore i think they might nerf that to be honest but this is like one of the most powerful items in the entire game of world warcraft classic and all of the class quest items are really 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 powerful there's also a ton of other quests in here that are very very good as well as a ton of bosses so next phase we can definitely expect a lot of really really amazing dungeons as well as some amazing raids i think sunken temple will be filled with a lot of unique encounters and i have a video coming out soon basically breaking down what i expect all of the encounters to be like so we will be able to go into zf a lot of people will level in zf or ultiman you will be able to obviously go into sunken temple as the new raid and not only are we finally unlocking some new talents that will really unleash some of the specializations but the bosses will no longer be mechanical this means that physical dps will have a massive massive boost in damage in this raid as compared to something like nomer where you're losing about 40% of your damage just because the bosses are mechanical. Sunken Temple no longer has that, which is actually really exciting. There's already eight bosses in here, but you have to remember there is the entire bottom room and then there's the entire top room before you go into the main section and deal with the bosses, as well as there's a lot of unique encounters in here, like Jamal the Prophet or Shade of Iranicus that are going to be a ton of fun the way that they rework them. The classes will get a lot more powerful you'll unlock more talents that will allow you to bring your build online especially for classes something like a feral druid which can now have leader of the pact and be able to power shift so those things will all be nice and we'll also of course get some new runes so you can expect potentially some of the runes that were data mined but we're definitely going to see the new runes soon so finally we get the next season or the next phase in season of discovery of course guys as usual i will have everything covered here on the channel i haven't been posting that much lately because there hasn't been that much happening in sod so get ready for a ton of new info every time something new pops up as well as as we discover things and talking about how the classes should perform and were you ready for this announcement or is it too soon and what class are you guys gonna be meaning just let me know in the comments because i'm actually curious and i'll see you guys all in the next one